All right, folks, welcome on in to another guide video on Dragon's Dogma 2 with your boy Cloud. Okay, so this one's going to be a little bit longer of a guide video. Uh, there's a lot that we're going to we're going to cover. So um, we're going to talk about the quest chain spellbound as well as the sorcerer's appraisal. Okay, so what you need for spellbound and the sorcerer's appraisal you need to find five grim wars and deliver them to trisha and then same thing with the sorcerer's appraisal you need to find five grim wars and then deliver them to mirrodin so quite the dilemma right so what we're gonna do let's go over where these these uh grimoires are okay so the first one you can get is over here in melf you can get this fairly early on right here there is a merchant that goes by the name of dudley he will sell you uh the first one which is fulminous shield um yep right there fulminous shield and just to show you guys here he looks like this just like your standard merchant should be one of the first merchants you guys see and i do believe that you have to spend a certain amount of money i don't know exactly how much i bought two rings from him fairly early on and then i noticed that this grimoire popped up in his thing and i was like oh this sounds important i bought it i'm glad i did <laughs> so there is your first one um, and with how uh, expensive, I should say, fast traveling is, I'm not going to like go there, show you exactly where it's at when I can just go to the map, be like, bro's here, go talk to him, I'll show you what he looks like. Okay, so that, that's, that's your first one. So then your second one that you can get fairly early on is in Vernworth. Um, now, with this one, there's a little quest chain. Uh, I believe it starts with the Cage Magistrate. You go talk to Wald here. He'll talk to you about um, looking for an archive that he can stay at because he doesn't. He's not leaving the cell until he, you know, can find some find somewhere that has a place that he can gain knowledge. So. You basically end up just exploring, and after I, well, you know, after you leave the, he is, where is he? He is here. So basically, after you leave here, see, where are we? Yeah, right here. So after you leave here, you will eventually go outside. Takes you, takes you outside, and then you basically loop, loop around, and then I ended up in the slums and I was like, okay, you know, this, this looks important. Like maybe does this have, you know, part to do with, uh, with this guy's quest. And then, uh, there's a guy literally right outside that goes by the name of Kendrick. It's the priest of this church. Talk to him. He'll tell you, Hey, there's missing kid by the name of Malcolm. Can you please find him? And then you basically go talk to kid one, kid two, kid three. They say, oh, he went into the vaults, talk to Kendrick, Kendrick will get you into the vaults, you go through, you find the archives, and then you head back to, to, uh, Waldir. And then Waldir will give you, I, I didn't even have to tell him that I found the archives, he's just like, oh, you're looking for grimoires? Hey, I already read this, you can go ahead and have it. And that's how you get, uh, your second grimoire, Towering Earth. Now, the third and fourth more they are both in the same spot and they the third and fourth have two locations that you can get it and one that you i would suggest you completely avoiding uh okay so up here at waterfall cave and i would highly recommend getting getting leveled up quite a bit i'm level 32 i struggled um again i i think it's it's only because I got stuck into a very small room with a chimera, and as everybody knows, chimeras have 
really destructive AoEs, and we were in the smallest room, so I couldn't exactly dodge anything. I just had to sit there and just tank it. Um, so yeah, there's there's a chimera in here, and there's also a spirit, like a uh, a necromancer, that will uh, that you'll have to fight. So basically, when you go in, chimera is going to be here. Um, then you'll dip out. I would suggest fighting it in this room, to be honest. Uh, I think I fought it here. Like, I fought it in the smallest little area. But anyway, after you fight the Chimera, loop back around, go up to the second floor, and then you're just going to keep going, and it's going to be in, I believe, this room here or here. It's, it's, it's in one of these two rooms, but there's going to be a chest, and in that chest, you'll have Howling Blizzard and Nation's Death Knell. So... Now that we're talking about Nation's Death Knell, Nation's Death Knell has a second location. So the nice thing about it having a second location is in order to do the Sorcerer's Appraisal and um, Trisha, uh, Trisha's Quest, Spellbound. So in order to do that, we essentially need 10 copies of these Grimoires, right? So getting the second legit copy of Nation's Death Knell is basically it's it's just going to save you $6,000 or 6,000 gold from having it having it uh, forged. So, the second location for Nation's Death Knell. Far west, you'll have the Ancient Battleground. So when you go into the Ancient Battleground, head towards the castle, you'll eventually meet a NPC by the name of Oscar. You'll be getting attacked, you save him, and then he's going to be like, oh, can you escort me to, to this? Say yes, agree. And then when you escort him, he will take you up to the second floor and into this room. And then he will ring a bell. So after he rings the bell, there is a book literally underneath a bell. Can't miss this. That is your second copy of Nation's Death Knell. So, grab that. Grab that. Uh, get out of there. And then your second location on Howling Blizzard, which this is one that I would highly recommend avoiding. Over here at the, na uh, the Nameless Village, there's an NPC that goes by the name of Wendy. She will ask uh, if you would want to trade a Howling Blizzard, which we already have, as long as you went to the Waterfall Cave, she will ask to trade her Howling Blizzard for your Fulminous Shield. Now, I didn't try to make a forgery and give her a fake Fulminous Shield, but really, I don't, I don't, I didn't really see the point. I was, just, I was like, I'm, okay, I'm like way over here. Way over here, I don't want to travel all the way back over here just to make another forgery, just go all the way back. It's like, that that's a lot, that's just extra. <laughs> and I didn't want to waste fairy stones. So, you might be able to make a forgery, and then give her the forgery, but, I mean, regardless, just make the forgery for Mirrodin. Because, like, even if you get a legit copy of Howling Blizzard, what's, like, what's the point? <laughs> like, you're still going to have to make another forgery. Or, I mean, I mean, you're still going to have to make a forgery regardless. Like, I, I, I don't know. It's, it's just pointless. So anyway, you have those two alternate location, locations for Howling Blizzard and Nation's Death Knell. Now, your final one. Your final one, and this is one I will actually show you how to get, um, is over here at Border, border Checkpoint Riftstone. Or, not Riftstone. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Checkpoint Riftstone. Oh, man. So anyway, when you're here, uh, you will have a house which i made a guide video just a few minutes ago on how to access and get inside this house now this is where it gets tricky so when you approach this guy's house he's gonna pop out he's gonna say mm, i didn't have any appointments today and then he'll look at you be gone and that's that's literally the only interaction so i approached him literally wearing what i'm wearing now my first time and i'm like okay he won't let me in what the fuck so I was like, what happens if I just climb this fucking wall? Like, I noticed his balcony. I was like, oh, let me just climb this wall. Let me let me get in here real quick. So I just climbed up and over. Obviously, I didn't miss it like that. Jeez. 
just climb here and then run and jump. And then I, right when you get on the balcony, you will open the window and bam, right there is one of, or is your let there be light. So now if you try to just access his home from up there, from the, the front door, you won't be able to because it's locked. Um, now to get in, you need to equip your noble gear, your noble attire. So equip these, go up, he'll be like, oh, now I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued because you look like a noble, blah, 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 blah. But if you go in that way, right, and then walk up through and then go and grab it, you will fail Mirrodin's quest. So you have to climb up and over and on the balcony in order to get his sorcerer ultimate and then in order to get the grimoire for Trisha. So once you give the fake copies or once you make the forgeries of the of the grimoires, give Mirrodin the fake copies, give Trisha the original copies, but you will have to go up and do some stuff for Trisha. I believe all you have to do is just uh, hand them to her, wait a couple days, and then you should get like a little a little cutscene or something for the next stage of the quest or whatever. Um, and then after it's all said and done, you will get from Meriden, you you get the ultimate sorcery spell for uh it's called Maelstrom, so you'll get that. And then from the girl, from Trisha and her grandma Aini, you will get Conjurer's Jottings, a scroll that teaches the male the me, Metron, Meteoron, Meteoron. I don't know. I don't know how you want to say it, but you will get that spell. And then from Aini, the grandma, you will get. Uh, the Celestial Pain Ultimate spell for the mage. So, just quick, quick little, quick little guide video on how to complete the Sorcerer's Appraisal and also how to get the Grimoires for Trisha and to complete her uh, Spellbound quest. Which, that I haven't done on my own. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think uh, I think that's uh, that's everything. Get uh, three three, well, two sorcery uh, ultimate spells and then one mage ultimate spell. So I think that's uh, that's everything that uh, you have to do for those. I don't think there's much more. Yeah, you talk to all here. Talk to her. Talk to him. So yeah. But all right, guys. I will catch y'all back in the live stream. I hope you all enjoyed the video.